Hello and welcome to Adventures of Deanna. I'm Deanna. Thank you so much for being here today. This is day three of the No BS 21 Day Challenge and I am running late today. So I have a out of town business meeting and I need to get ready for that. So you're going to join me and I'm going to try and keep a stream of consciousness as I finish this hair because I normally don't do my hair now that we're working from home and today I have to actually do my hair so welcome <laughs> yesterday I just want to follow up on yesterday which was day two and it was talking about closing the kitchen and urges so I did not have any urges yesterday um, went through the day and everything was hunky-dory <laughs> hunky-dory um, and I didn't have any urges but I do anticipate having urges today because step one is we have to drive out of town and then we get together and meet people at a Mexican restaurant for um, drinks and snacks so that is step one and step two is later we go out for one of those long business meeting dinner things that lasts forever and all the courses appetizers salad entree all the things so i don't i'm really looking forward to um having scallops tonight and um a glass of wine so i don't want to have chips and salsa and margaritas so I'm definitely gonna be at the restaurant and I'm definitely going to be faced with an urge to have the chips and salsa and to have a margarita so I'm gonna to have to sit through that urge so hopefully I can do that successfully and I'll report back to you tomorrow on that but day three the day three challenge was um, hunger and the challenge was the three W's. So once you feel hunger, water, wait, W-A-I-T, and write. So once you feel hunger, sometimes hunger isn't necessarily hunger. Sometimes hunger can be disguised as thirst. So that's why the water. Get some water. Make sure that you are properly hydrated. Make sure that your body is not just craving food. Maybe it's craving actual water. And then wait, wait a few minutes, see if it goes away. Sometimes hunger is um, false and it will just subside, it'll go away. You'll find out, you know, if you get distracted doing something else or if you wait, that you're not necessarily hungry per se. So water, then wait, and then write. So again, it's taken us back to day two write about it. Is this just an urge or are you actually hungry? So write about it. So water, wait, and write. I actually did have hunger yesterday. Um, my breakfast was kind of small yesterday, so I did feel hunger, but I didn't have any urge to go off of that um, because I knew that I was just hungry and I knew that lunch was like right around the corner so I was like you can just wait till lunch no big deal right so I have this notebook here and I write a lot I probably go through one of these um, 70 sheet college rule notebooks a month because I'm constantly writing about my thoughts and my feelings and ideas and things like that so I'm constantly writing so that is another thing about hunger is some people I don't know if this is you or not I don't really um, have this but some people are scared of hunger like they don't want to get too hungry because then they're afraid that they're going to overeat and that's something to think about think about your thoughts about if that's something that you do some people have good reasons to be scared of hunger, like if their blood pressure gets low and stuff like that. I don't know if that's something that um, that you do or not. Just curious. Um, 
And then there's also another thought, you know, like um, being hungry versus I could eat is another thing that people go through. So a lot of times you're not hungry, but you could eat. <laughs> Happens all the time in my house, actually, because uh, on the weekends specifically, I'll wake up and it'll be my normal time for breakfast and I'm hungry. And then my husband will wake up a couple hours later and he'll be like, oh, are you hungry? You want to go breakfast? I'm like, well, I'm not hungry, but I could eat. So then I have to think about, you know, well, do I really want to eat? Can he just wait until lunchtime because it's not that far away? So the difference between getting hungry versus I couldn't eat. Well, I still have half my head to go and I'm done talking about everything that I want to talk about today in the no BS weight loss challenge. I do find that it has been helpful to kind of revisit what is um, going on um, and to revisit some of the things in the program that I haven't been doing. Like I haven't been practicing all of the things. So I find that that is really, really interesting that, you know, here I think that I'm doing all the things whenever I'm really what I'm doing is the minimum baseline. I'm just drinking my water, writing my plan, following the hunger scale, um, things like that. But I'm really not diving deep into the program. Part of the program is, um, it's done by a, a bunch of life coaches. And every every week, there's multiple, multiple, multiple coaching calls. So you can jump on this one of these coaching calls and you can get help with things that you might be struggling with. And that's something that I have never taken advantage of. I've never gotten coached. And maybe um, there are things that I need to be coached on, possibly my weekends. Um, is something that I need to be coached on. So this is a good time for me to kind of sit back and reflect on things that I could be doing. What a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm not a professional hairdresser, by the way. <laughs> Just trying to look good for these business people. Just trying to look good for the business peoples. And I'm out of practice. You know, it's been a long time. I haven't, I don't think I've curled my hair since like June. Probably not. I've probably done it another time, but whenever you do it every day versus you do doing it once a month, it's a lot more difficult. So I'm totally off into a different tangent here talking about my hair. Do you guys do your hair every single day? Well, let me know. Let's have a conversation about hair. <laughs> so I also, while I'm here talking about it, we have that dinner tonight. So I have to write my plan, look up the menu. So I know that I'm going to be having scallops, but I know that they're going to order like appetizers for the table and there's going to be like bread and butter for the table so I have to make my decisions like do I want to have bread and butter do I want to have appetizers are the appetizers important to me and just making a decision ahead of time about what it is that I want so that whenever I'm there I can make good decisions And I'll tell you what, I don't want the appetizers, I want my scallops, that's all. And my salad, they have really, really, really good salad dressing. <laughs> it sounds silly to be excited about salad dressing, but that's me, I'm excited about the salad dressing. <laughs> silly little things. I always put my clip in my hair, in my mouth, whatever. I am doing my hair, so it's awkward to not do that. I 
Okay guys, so if you're sticking with me, I really, I gained a few subscribers and I want to thank you very much for joining my channel and for checking out my videos. I hope this has been a little entertaining for you to watch me fluff my hair, make it, it's probably not going to look this way later, probably going to walk outside, it's all humid and it'll just go and be not cute anymore. But again, I want to thank you guys for watching. This was day three. It's all about three W's, water, weight, and right. So when you have those urges to eat, if it's not hunger, do those urge worksheets. Thanks again for watching. As always, it's going to be an adventure.